welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new. My name is Dylan Tick and um, I saw this thing where people are like doing holiday makeup and I ended up actually doing some holiday makeup for St. Patrick's Day this year. But um, it wasn't really what I wanted to do for the day, but it was like a school festival before spring break. And I had an audition the next day, which I posted out because I did my makeup for that. And uh, after doing kind of that, I've decided to do what I, I actually wanted to do. So um, I have this uh, Spirit Halloween Green Cream Makeup. And I tested it out on my hand and it works pretty well. So I am going to be painting myself green since it is spring break and I have nothing to do tomorrow. So uh, here is everything that I have. Okay, so I already say that I have this uh, spirit green cream that I'm going to be using my foundation ish thing. And then upon that, I have this green makeup crayon from Spirit Halloween that I'm borrowing from my sister. And I also have these two sponges that I'm going to be using that are green. But this one has a lot of foundation on it already. And stuff like that. I have my usual blush brush that you probably see if you watch me too short. I use it a lot. It's very popular with me. Um, I'm going to be using my usual nurse brown blush for the blush because I think it's going to be cool. I have my uh, Meron makeup. Um, I'm going to be using this one for the most part which is my green in it but it's a bunch of different colors in it for uh, special effects makeup, which is, I guess, what this is going to be classified as. Um, I have this makeup eyeshadow palette that is my sister's and it's kind of a wreck, but uh, it's got a lot of green in it, so I figured I'd use it. And then I have my usual bag of, of brushes right here. See all these, all the guys that I can go in the middle of the eye. And then finally, I have these extra. Probably gonna be using this in the most. Of this box, but I thought I'd have it. And let's just do it. The first thing I ended up doing was taking my earrings, cause, like immediately pulled down on them and. Her was already wearing them today, so I'm getting ready for my brother's thing. And, um, this isn't that clean of camera today. I am sorry. Um, we're just gonna get into it and, uh, start doing it. Yeah. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm, I'm very nervous for this, okay? Um, so I have my cream and, uh, Ah. This is what I got right now. <laughs> um, so this, this is what I got right now. I just, I just went through and did it. All of them. In the mirror. And uh, I ended up using my other green sponge, not the one with foundation, the other one that worked out pretty well. But it is still unbelievably splotchy because it just, it wasn't really sitting smooth. And that was kind of bugging me, but I figured that that would be the least of what we did. And my fingers are so green right now. Um, so now I'm just going to go through with my blush because I thought originally that it was gonna look pretty good because you know that's what my headspace was thinking so 
going through with yet. And we're going to do my usual. Put it on the nose, then run it up to the cheek. I do this with all my makeup blush lines, like, because it gives me, like, I like to look kind of fairy like. And that's what it does. I am like the fact that the cream makeup isn't really transferring to the brush and getting my brush really green, but it still seems to be transferring pretty well. I mean, I'm needing to use it a little bit more than I normally would, but overall, I really think that worked. <laughs> I look like Shrek. There's no way around that. I look like Shrek. Well, I'm gonna go back to my little face. Oh, you didn't see that. Uh, I'm going to select one of my brushes, one of my smaller brushes. Um, this one, since it already has green on it. Um, so I am ending up using this brush, which for St. Patty's Day, I used it for my, uh, I used it for my lipstick, so I'm going to use it for that again, but I'm also going to use the green for my, so I'm using this, this green up, up in the top corner, I know you can't see it, that I can't seem to get it closer, so I'm going to start by doing it up here in this area. Right here. And giving it that, uh, underneath it. And this is so that it's really, really the same color as my, uh, cream foundation, which look pretty rank right now, guys. Uh, my goodness, this video is going to be coming, like, coming out probably well after St. Patrick's Day, and y'all are going to watch it and be like, what the heck, um, well, hi, how are y'all doing, uh, that's good, I hope you're having a good day. If not, I, ho I hope this this cheers you up. Um, so, as you can see here, um, I'm becoming more like Shrek every minute. It's going to make kids in my middle school be like nuts. But I'm glad we have like a mirror here now. <laughs> Let's do this. Um, I have my crayon and I'm going to do my eyeliner via crayon. And I might do some freckles. Uh... You're gonna be like this and that swoop. Oh wow. That didn't come out that bad considering, you know. Okay, we're gonna oh my god, my flesh is so cold. Okay, swoop. Swoop and flesh. Okay. And then I'm gonna use it to also line my lip. So you know right now? I'm kind of feeling, um, regular, kind of lips with a bit of a point. No, that's not that. One second, one second, guys. I am now back with some pink lipstick of mine. It is Urban Decay. Pretty sure the shade is light pink, but I've had it for a while. It's hard to tell. Uh... This is the shade. I use it for like a lot of like light makeup. It works well with the Disney Ep Epcot lip gloss. And I'm just going to go in on the inside with it. Uh, and kind of, you know, rub that in. Which is giving me like this kind of pink. 
but still lined along the lips with the green. And then I'm gonna come back around with my eyeshadow. I love how my sounds are professional right now. I hope they have no idea what I'm doing, guys. Don't listen. And I'm gonna go in the top or the outer line with my green eyeshadow. Not that bad. I mean, the lips are actually kind of cute, guys. Um, I'm gonna come back in with my crayon now and maybe give it more of that St. Patty's kind of vibe, you know. So, boop, 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 boop. I am like the terrifying spawn of Shrek. And the Jim Carrey's character in the mask. Okay, little heart on one, another heart, another heart, and a final heart, which one? A one. It's a shamrock for St. Patrick's Day. Um. I don't know how to feel about this. I really don't. Hold on. No, this is weird. Um, gonna take some pictures because, you know, this camera doesn't do this justice. Like, it looks pretty fine here. I promise you, it's not. Look, okay, I'm gonna take some photos. Instagram besties. Actually, just kidding. I don't, I don't have Instagram. But um, here's the final look. Posting these onto my channel. Like right now. Um, I'm gonna go clean this off my face because I just showed my sister, and she's like, "This is not." Dylan, it's so patchy though. Like, so patchy, but we're here to experiment. I mean, <laughs> I I ramble on for for way too long in these videos, and then I never, and then I come back and I cut it. And thank you for sitting with me this long. If you did, please leave a like below and subscribe for more weird makeup and regular makeup in theater so if you like any of those hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and i will see you guys soon